In tonight's health beat, over the weekend, the Carter Center announced former President Jimmy Carter decided to receive hospice care at home instead of further treatments in a hospital setting. So what exactly is hospice care? Doctors say most patients who choose this route have a serious or terminal illness with a projected six months or less to live. President Carter is 98 years old and has suffered a number of health issues in recent years. The goal of hospice care is not to prolong life, but to focus on comfort. That can be provided at home, in a nursing care or other facility, or in an inpatient setting. But it is not 24-hour hands-on medical care. It involves a supportive team, including a nurse, social worker, chaplain or spiritual care, um, a nurse's aide, a nurse practitioner, physician, and volunteers who come see the patient wherever they live. The medications and medical equipment are provided to them at home, and they have someone they can call even in the middle of the night to get advice over the phone or even have a nurse come see them in the middle of the night. And they and their families and loved ones have support to work through their feelings about end of life and make their final time as comfortable as possible. Dr. Sandra Frelson, medical director of Hospice Austin, says while most patients enter hospice care during an end of life stage, because of the intensive support, some patients actually improve. Sometimes people do better than they had prior to coming on to hospice. And so we do have people who have a longer prognosis and graduate from hospice. And we're always really happy when that happens. The other thing is sometimes people have an illness that has ups and downs and they come on to hospice when they've had an event like a hospitalization and they're really sick. And then they actually recover from that illness and they're doing better and they decide that hospice is not necessarily the right path for them at that point. Hospice is a benefit that is covered by Medicare Part A and most insurance plans and even those who don't have insurance. Now, the hospice movement in the U.S. actually got its start in the late 1970s during Carter's presidency. To learn more about hospice care, visit hospiceaustin.org.